Hey guys, so I decided to make a bat house this time, and I think it turned out pretty nice. You know, I, I'd made a bat house once before at a different house that I lived in, and it it didn't quite turn out so great. Um, you know, I just, I did a bad job on the assembly, and you know, I should have used an exterior rated glue instead of an interior rated glue. I, bottom line was it was it was kind of a disaster uh, and i never got any bats either so that was kind of disappointing but um this one i think is going to be a little bit better there are no uh, tricky cuts or tricky joinery on this so i think you'll enjoy that aspect of it if you watch the video um you can do this in just a few hours it certainly i was able to do it pretty quickly um, and all the cuts you know i did uh, most of the cuts on my table saw i think on the sides i did use a miter saw um, but again, this is so simple. You could even use just a handsaw if you wanted to. Um, for the plans, I actually got the plans from a book by A.J. Hamler. And he's a, an author, a woodworking author, who I really like. I've made several projects from things that he's done. And this one, uh, the title of this book is actually called Birdhouses and More. And uh, AJ does a great job of just keeping things simple. So uh, anyways, be sure to check out the video. Be sure to check out AJ's book. And uh, oh, and don't be afraid to make these plans kind of your own, right? You know, you, you get the, the base example. You can certainly follow exactly as you want. Um, in my case, you know, I usually play with the dimensions just a little bit. So uh, anyways, check out the video of how I made this. And as always, be sure to check out my website at woodlogger.com. So to get started on my bad house, I got really lucky I had this... A uh, really long piece of cedar that I, um, I hadn't used. Um, it's been kind of in a scrap pile. Um, but it, it's going to work out perfect for what I need. And, you know, the plan that I'm trying to follow, and I'm, I'm staying pretty pretty true to it, actually, um, calls for a board that is 1 by 12. And so this is uh, about 11 and a quarter, I think, is the actual width. And uh, had I not had these, you know, this width of cedar, uh, I and just purchase this at a store, I probably would have taken maybe two uh, one by sixes and kind of edge joined them together with glue. So, you know, whatever it takes to kind of get this done. This is a bad house. This is not a, uh, you know, a show piece of art, right, folks? The bats aren't going to care. Um, but anyway, so I, I had this piece. Um, I went ahead and I uh, cut this on my table saw. And for the back, it's 32 inches long. Um, and for the front, I cut this 23 inches long as well and then on the sides for the bat house i went ahead and cut those as well too on my uh, miter saw and you can do this on your table saw whatever you got um, this is a one by uh i think it's two and a half let me double check here yeah it's one by two and a half and uh this is the same length as the front so that when we go to attach them to the back they'll fit just fine so really, you know, this is a box project. It's pretty simple. Um, you know, I, you know, definitely check out the uh, the plan of the book that I talked about a little bit earlier. It's uh, it's one of those really easy projects that anyone can make. Uh, you just need a few tools and um, a little bit of patience. Oh, hey, so one more thing I wanted to point out uh, for the top um, of of the bat house. The plan actually calls for doing sort of a, 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 an angled cut so that you have a slight slope, um, you know, probably for rain just to kind of direct it away. Um, where I'm actually going to put it, there's going to be a slight cover above it. So I didn't cut mine at an angle. You don't need to do that. It's kind of a nice thing to, to do. But uh, I think the bats will be fine with it uh, being just like this. So this, uh, this top piece is a one by let me double check one by five one by five by eleven and a quarter um and the bottom um this will kind of go underneath the house and um, really it just kind of creates kind of a gap about a maybe about a two inch gap so that the the bats can actually crawl inside and they really don't need a very wide opening this is kind of an optional piece too uh, but this is a one by one and a half and approximately nine and a half inches long. Um, really, it just needs to fit in between the, the two sideboards that will kind of hold it, and this will kind of go uh, in between them. So when I get ready to assemble this here in just a second, I'll try and point out uh, some of the lengths again. Um, but I wanted to kind of point that out as well. Okay, so for the assembly, I've got my backboard here, I've got my two sides um, on the top of that, and I've set them in um, about six inches from the bottom, so that will give a little bit of a gap at the front where I'll use a screw to attach it to uh, the barn that I have, or I guess it's like a mini barn, and I'll use another screw here at the bottom, so it just kind of gives me some range. 
I'm actually going to put this piece, which is kind of the bottom, there. And then I'll put the cover, or the top, right on top. And then lastly, we'll put the uh, roof such that it looks a little something like that. So that's kind of a rough fit, you know, how it's going to look when it's sort of done. Um, to get started, I'm going to actually attach the sides to the top. And then I think when that's settled, then I'll put that back on top of the backboard and um, uh, brad nail it in from the, from the back side of the, the uh, backboard. So I'm going to work on uh, doing my glue and getting my top on now. So I've got my top sort of settled there with glue. Again, I'm going to use brad nails for mine. You could certainly use just a hammer and nails um, or wood screws if you want it. Okay, next up I'm going to attach my bottom to the inside of my case here. Okay, so my bad house has turned out pretty nice. I think it's uh, coming along nicely. The last piece I have to do is the top, um, or sort of the roof, if you will. And I'm gonna repeat the same process that I've done for the sides as well as the, the uh, front um, that I've attached there. So I'll just use more uh, glue and some brads to hold it in place. Alright, so I finished attaching the brad nails and the glue to the top of this. I think it's going to be great. I really do. I think, uh, I'm just hoping I get some bats in this. So, uh, again, this is a really simple project. You can do this in just a few hours. It's definitely a weekend project. Uh, be sure to check out my website at woodlogger.com. I'll post more pictures and information about how I made this. And uh, I'll uh, include a link to the book that I used. I had the plan um, that I, you know, made very just a little bit. And uh, anyway, so check out my website at woodlogger.com. And also, if you make one of these, I'd love to see it. Be sure to uh, share a post out on uh, my Facebook page at facebook.com slash woodlogger. And I will share that out with everyone else. I'll see you next time.